Hey folks, as the weekend rolls in, so does one of my reviews of an episode of a superhero animated series. Today I'll be talking about the Batman the Animated Series episode Trial. So if you want to rewatch the episode to refresh yourself, or if you haven't seen the episode before and you want to do that, you should because I'm about to talk about it and I'll be spoiling stuff. There's a DA who disapproves of Batman. She's kidnapped, Batman goes to find her, is himself kidnapped and brought to Arkham, where the villains have put together a kangaroo court to try Batman on the charges of creating all of the villains of Gotham. The kicker is that the anti-Batman DA must defend Batman. Hilarity ensues as Batman must find a way to save himself and the DA. The idea of the villains of Gotham having their own community isn't a new idea. I myself am somewhat opposed to it, as grouping all the villains into one big homogenous bad guy organization, in my opinion, takes away some of the individual quirks and characteristics of the villains. But I think having all of these guys working together works better here than I've seen it work in any other place, because it emphasizes the individual quirks of these villains. We see that Ivy lets her rage get the better of her when it comes to injustices against plants, even if these injustices were committed by someone she allegedly has a common cause with. While Harley would love to see Batman's ticket get punched, she'd also love to punch Joker for trying to sell her out. This episode is able to maintain what's so great about all of these characters, namely their psychoses, while it's also able to make them all work together toward a common goal. I wouldn't want to see all the villains of Gotham form their own little Legion of Doom every episode, or even less often than that, but once or twice in this series, works for me. This episode also does the criminals holding a court session thing, which also isn't incredibly new, though this might have been the first time we ever saw it in Batman. We later saw it in one of the side issues of No Man's Land, and we saw it in Dark Victory. It's really about like you would expect it to be, coming from this group of villains. There's a vague semblance of order, but it's largely just chaos to delay what these criminals see as the inevitable execution of Batman. The whole setup results in some of the funniest moments I've seen in this entire series, like the ventriloquist failing at being a bailiff, Joker and Harley flirting while she's in the witness box, and Killer Croc screaming that they should crush Batman with a rock. A nice callback to the episode Almost Got Him, another episode that works incredibly well with the villains as a community theme. But beyond getting some incredibly amusing moments, I couldn't help but wonder why, from a character point of view, these guys are all indulging in this nonsense if they are just going to kill Batman anyway, as they end up attempting to do. Sure, you could argue that the Joker doesn't really want Batman dead if you subscribe to the Dark Knight idea that he needs Batman in order to have his fun. But all of the other villains here you would think one of them would say, hey, let's just put a bullet in his head. I know, I know, there wouldn't be much of an episode if they did that. But still, am I the only one bothered by how the bad guys go through with this farce for no real reason other than the plot needs them to? Speaking of the plot needs it to happen, Batman spends one-third of this episode in a straitjacket. <laughs> Where are his Zatara-trained Houdini skills now? But I digress, that's a minor quibble. But if you want to hear a major quibble, it would be that this entire episode is built on a faulty notion that Batman created all of these villains. At least, the way that notion is presented is very faulty. I'm a big fan of the idea seen in The Dark Knight Returns, Year One, and Begins, that as soon as Batman shows up, other people get the idea to dress up, and suddenly, you have two dozen psychos all in costumes wrecking havoc across the city. It's a very interesting idea that basically, Gotham is screwed. If Batman doesn't show up, regular crime takes over, and if he does, super crime takes over. But that idea is not consistent with any of the villains in this series, and what's worse, this episode knows that. It starts off throwing around this idea of Batman made these criminals who they are, and as soon as that's mentioned, I'm tallying in my head how each of these guys would still be just as psychotic as they are here if it wasn't for Batman. Now sure, the episode tries to make that the DA's character arc in the end when she realizes this is a faulty notion, but this is something she should have realized 0.5 seconds after she said it. At the very least, when she's on Batman's case about how the city would be better off without him, he should have turned it around on her. Okay, if he wasn't there, the mob would still have targeted Dent. The Mad Hatter would still be a creepy stalker dude, and Poison Ivy would still be an insane plants rights terrorist. This whole notion feels like something that would have worked incredibly well in the comics, where it would be much more difficult to refute, but it doesn't work at all in this series. To be honest, this episode is one that overall doesn't work for me. It has some terrific moments in it that will no doubt have me coming back to watch it again and again in the future, but I will always be soured by the overall theme of the episode and how it just does not work at all. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of the episode and of my review? If you like this review, you're in luck because I talk about other superhero cartoons every Saturday. Next week, I'll be talking about an episode of Batman Beyond, and the week after that, I'll be returning to talk about another episode of Batman the Animated Series, and I also do other videos throughout the week, so feel free to check those out as well. In the meantime, I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of the day.